Now, because this is more of a talk track class, more of a phone skills training class, if you will, and not the full creating an appointment culture class, we're not gonna go through all four steps of the perfect appointment, but we will touch on the two that have to do with discipline, that have to do with talk tracks that are all around appointment-driven communication. And the first step of the perfect appointment is something we call strong appointment setting. Now, if you watched Creating an Appointment Culture, or you attended my class, you know that a strong appointment requires three things, and it requires all three of these. It requires a specific date and time. It requires a specific goal. And it requires a mental and verbal commitment by the prospect in order to be a strong appointment. Now, in this talk track class, I'm gonna teach you one other thing. We need to do a strong recap of all three. So, by the way, if Barbara Jones is gonna come in tonight before eight o'clock to test drive the 2013 Camry we have on the lot, that is not a specific day and time. It's a specific day today, but it's not a specific time. So that is not a strong appointment, right? If someone says, I'll be in Saturday morning, that's not a strong appointment. A specific day and time is required. The specific goal to test drive the 2013 Camry you saw on Autotrader, right? So here's my recap that's gonna, by the way, this recap is what drives that mental commitment by the prospect. So here's my recap of the appointment. Once Barbara Jones has agreed to come in today and test drive the, uh, the 2013 Camry she saw on Autotrader, we're gonna say, okay, Mrs. Jones, just to recap. See, here's, here's where your team falls down, or here's where maybe if you're the seller, you fall down a lot. Mrs. Jones agrees to come in. She says, oh, 515 worked great for me. Your team doesn't want to screw up the deal. So they say, great, we'll see you at 515. Be sure and ask for me. Boom. We weren't able to create a commitment in her mind and your show rate drops below 60%. But if you want to get an 80% show rate, we're going to add the recap. So Mrs. Jones says, sure, I can make the 515 appointment. We say, great, Mrs. Jones, just to recap, we're going to see you tonight at 515 to test drive that 2013 Toyota Camry you saw on Autotrader. Now, Mrs. Jones, we're going to get that Camry clean gas parked out front ready to go so that when you arrive for your test drive, you will literally be in and out and on your test drive within five minutes. And Mrs. Jones, if anything happens to us or that Camry, we're going to be sure and call you well in advance and let you know so you don't waste a trip down here. And all I would ask from you is that you show us the same courtesy. So can I count on you for tonight at 515? And then we wait. And when she says yes, we've got not only a verbal commitment, we have a mental commitment because she knows all the things that we're gonna do to get ready for this appointment. Remember our goal. Our goal is an appointment that shows our goal is not to get off the phone. Now, in appropriate appointment confirmation, the second step for the perfect appointment, we need to make sure that the managers are making these calls. The managers must make the appointment confirmation calls for two reasons. One. They can ensure we have strong appointment settings. So if I'm the manager and I call Mrs. Jones and I say, hey, Mrs. Jones, Steve Stawning from Century Toyota, I'm the sales manager. I can't wait to meet you tonight at 515 when you test drive. The and she stops me, 515? I never said 515. I said I'd be in before 8 o'clock. Or she stops me and says, I didn't really set an appointment. I was just, I didn't, you know, I, I didn't know what to say to the guy on the phone. See, we're going we're gonna to unearth weak appointment setting if the manager is the one who makes the, the confirmation call. But here's the second reason to make the confirmation call, to have a manager make confirmation call, and this is more important almost, and that is it increases our show rates. So if you're setting strong appointments, your show rates are 80%, right? And now if you have appropriate appointment confirmation with strong confirmation calls made by the manager, you should expect nearly a 100% show rate, and those who don't show should call you in advance and tell you that they can't. So the manager must make these confirmation calls. And this means, it's simply not this. It's not, hey, Mrs. Jones, Steve Stawning calling from Century Toyota. I just want to make sure we're going to see you tonight at 515. Or I'm just calling to confirm your appointment for 515. That's silly. Why, I'm calling to confirm your appointment. No. What we're going to do is we're going to thank them for considering us. And then we're going to do another strong recap of the three things that are required, right? specific date and time, specific goal, and a mental and verbal commitment by the prospect. See, we've got to make the prospect feel guilty if they no-show. Our goal is an appointment that shows the same goal for the manager, the appropriate appointment confirmation. So, Mrs. Jones answers the phone. I say, hey, Mrs. Jones, Steve Stawning calling from Century Toyota. I'm the sales manager here. I just want to thank you for giving us a chance to show you what we can do. Now, I understand from talking to Bob that we're going to see you tonight at 515 to test drive that 2013 Toyota Camry. Now, I don't know if Bob told you or not, but we're going to get that Camry clean, gas, parked out front, ready to go, so that when you arrive for your test drive, you are literally in and out in under five minutes. Now, Mrs. Jones, if anything happens to us with that Camry, we're going to be sure and call you well in advance so you don't waste a trip down here. And all I would ask from you, Mrs. Jones, is that you show us the same courtesy. So can I count on meeting you tonight at 515? Again, if she says yes, 
she's going to show. You've just created a 100% show rate. And by the way, if she can't show at 515, she'll tell us now. She really will. Oh my gosh, they really are going to do all these things to get ready. I'm not going to no show. I, you know, another appointment came up. That's okay. Because as the manager, now we have a chance to save this deal. We have a chance to save the appointment and schedule something for a time that fits for Mrs. Jones and also fits for us. So if she says, oh, I can't make it. I forgot my daughter has soccer practice. We don't get out till 630. We can say, that's great news, Mrs. Jones. I do have a 645 and a 715 if either of those work for you, right? And so what we need to do is we need to try to reschedule the appointment at that time. And that's the manager's job. That's the appropriate appointment confirmation. And the manager is the one who has to do that.